Y'all, is winter here? Look, now, I don't know if you all are taking a look around, but things are getting worse. Now, not too long ago, we had this dope discussion to where we really broke down how a lot of even the OnlyFans models and the boss chicks were struggling and going broke. But since then, it's looking like it's starting to trickle down over into the everyday average female to where even they are struggling and rightfully so i mean if even the women who are making all of the top earning dollars and all of that are struggling i can only imagine what life is looking like for the everyday average typical chick you know a lot of them are at their wits end a lot of them are really in a tight position to where it's like look I'll do anything. I am desperate. I messed up. I prioritized the wrong things. And now I'm here having to try to scramble and scrape up change so that I can make an end meet, so that I can be okay. And the truth of the matter is, they're not okay. All right? Winter is definitely here, and it's looking us right in our faces, and we cannot handle it. We don't want to deal with it, but it could have been avoided. That's the catch to it all. That's the, the very tragic situation of it all. These dire situations that we're placed into in today's time, we didn't have to be a part of it, ladies. We could have been with very productive, masculine, providing, protecting, leading, teaching men and been okay, right? We could have had husbands. We could have had very solid stand-up gentlemen to take on those loads for us. All we had to do was be quality women. All we had to do was appreciate him, add on to his life in a positive way, make his life more enjoyable and easy. And the catch to that is men don't even like and ask for much. Men are very simple. All they were asking for is for us to treat them like human beings, give them common human decency, and they would have took care of everything for you. But here you are now crying in your car. Yes, we're starting to see this trend of a bunch of chicks broken begging and crying in their cars, admitting defeat. Let's get into it. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. It is so much that we have got to break down today. And honestly, you all, I don't see things getting better or improving anytime soon. If anything, it's going to get a lot worse with a lot of women being stubborn right? A lot of us are so stuck in our egos that we refuse to say, I'm sorry, and I was wrong, and I did things backwards. We refuse to do that. And so since the bulk of women are falling under that category, like I said, it's going to get worse. But here we have this young lady here that was tricked into believing, hey, my degree will save me. Yes, I'll be able to accumulate all of this money, live happily ever after. I can be independent. I won't need any help. I won't need a man. I am a strong, independent boss chick, but not so fast. Let's take a look. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. This needs to be widespread, okay? This is very alarming. This is breaking news, and it keeps getting worse. We have got to warn these women of what paths not to take. Let's get into it. When I start selling pussy, I don't want to hear it. When I start selling pussy, I don't want to hear nobody say shit. When you see me on the corner, mind your business. 
business because these recruiters have one more in time to in play with me. I get in an argument with my mom every other day. She comes in my face talking about some, oh yeah, Mira, you have a degree. You can get a job anywhere. I don't understand. Where? Where, Wanda? Where are the jobs? Exactly. Now I'm going to let her finish. But so far, we have got to stop there and highlight that. A lot of the women before us, our mothers and, you know, our elders, they told us, hey, this role would be a piece of cake. You don't need a man. You don't need to do things the quote unquote traditional way. You can pave your own way for yourself. All you have to do is go to school, get an education, get a bunch of degrees that don't mean anything, and then you can prosper and flourish alone, independently. But it's looking like it was a scam. Y'all prioritize your degrees over family, over husbands and now you're in your car crying because you have finally had to realize that the women before you led you astray now i am extremely taken aback by how she started off this conversation by saying hey if you see me outside selling the meow don't say anything you know because i'm broke and i need help and if I got to sell a little piece of something for a little piece of change, don't judge me. Mind your business. And to me, that really does illustrate and highlight just how desperate a lot of these chicks are out here. Like, in what time was it something that was socially acceptable for a woman to broadcast to the world, hey, I'm going to sell my cat and if I got to do that in order to pay my bills, then by golly, I'm going to do it and I'm going to be proud about it. That was not a thing. So for that to be a thing today, playing or not, it says a lot about how much we have fallen, about how broke we really are, about how we really did need the very men that we said that we didn't and the degrees did not replace the men. It didn't. And it's not to even say that men are only needed for financial stability and security. No, it goes way deeper than that, which is also something that is really going to hammer it home really, really hard to a lot of females out here. Because one day you're going to really wake up and see, dang, not only did I need men for financial support and stability and security, but I also need them for guidance. I also need them for love, affection, emotional support, mental support. Like I need that. This is why so many women are also breaking down. They're also breaking down, not only because they're financially broke, but they're spiritually broke. They're emotionally broke. They're mentally broke. And Lace, I hate to inform you, but the men could have actually assisted you all with that as well. Our nature yearns, love, affection, guidance, attention, validation from men. And when we don't have it, we crumble on all fronts. This is what we're starting to realize today. We need men, period. It goes way deeper than just financial. We need men in our lives just in general. Without them, we don't make it. I just wish I would be honest enough to admit it. Because the sooner you all admit these things, the better off you can be. But first you have to admit, I have a problem. I messed up. I was wrong. and. I'm sorry. But let's continue. Y'all get the likes up. Like the video, show the video, and subscribe. Every day I apply to like 100 places. I am so broke. I'm rationing my pussy with these tampons. Okay, bitch, I'm on my period right now. My cramps was horrible last night. I couldn't fucking take an apple because I'm like, I don't know if we're going to make it through the week. I'm over it. 
Now that was TMI. Okay. I did not need to know that she was rationing her plugins. I did not need to know that. But again, you all, that speaks to how broke a lot of these females are. They can't afford to purchase basic items that you need, basic necessities. Like it's really that bad out here. And like I said, it's going to do nothing but get worse. It really is. And what's also very alarming you all is the fact that not only are those degrees doing nothing but collecting dust and debt for you, but it's looking like the degrees are not even helping you all to land jobs. Like are the jobs not even hiring women? What is really going on? <laughs> and I'm going to be honest and say this, you all. Now, this may be a little bit off topic, but I do feel like it's valid enough to highlight. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I believe that a lot of these places are probably not hiring women, especially if you have a degree. It's because a lot of the times when it comes to women and our education, we start to feel like we're too good to perform certain tasks. You know, we're too high and mighty to be told what to do. And even without the degrees, quite frankly, a lot of women are lazy. And so I'm pretty sure a lot of these jobs are taking that into consideration as well, which is also contributing to us not get, getting hired, not having the money that we need, and ultimately being broke. But I don't know. Let's continue, though. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. So quick to let me take you on a trip. Let me take you on a trip. Pay a bill. Pay a bill. Pay a goddamn bill. Shit. No, I don't want to go to Miami. They just increased my health insurance. Call Kaiser and put your car down. Please. <laughs> my God. Oh, God. Y'all won't leave me alone. Y'all won't leave me alone. Can we get on the phone? No. Get on the phone with Billing. Y'all, like I said, it keeps getting worse and worse. Now, what we're seeing here with this young lady is a woman that will always be broke, a woman that will always struggle. And the reason why she's going to always be broke and she's going to always struggle is because she is essentially illustrating to men not to deal with her. No man wants to get involved with a woman that does not even take a genuine interest into getting to know him. It's all about how he can help her, what he can do for her. Men see women like this as a gigantic red flag. She admitted herself, look, I am so broke and I am such a huge liability that, look, I don't even want to get to know you. I don't want to talk to you. Talk to, you know, somebody that's going to help you in billing. And what man in his right mind is going to take that type of woman on? So where she's like, oh, no, don't court me. Don't show me interest. Don't try to get to know me. Don't try to talk to me. Pay a bill. Men are tired of feeling like, utilities men are tired of feeling like you know less than human i'm just a payday loan for you it's trash ladies and oftentimes we would be the same females that complained about men just using us and discarding of us but this is essentially the same type of energy that y'all dish men's way. And then you get an attitude when the men don't want to deal with you. Who would? You don't even want to deal with you, ma'am. You hate your own life.
So why would a man want to invite you to be a part of his life when your own life is in shambles and you're trying to run from your own problems? Come on, let's be real. And honestly, you all, and again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. It's a lot of men out there today that are fed up. They're sick and tired of not being appreciated, not being respected. They're tired of broke, begging females. I'm sorry. They're tired of broke, begging bums. Let's get into it. Mm, is giving broke female who's looking for a dad and not a man and not a partner. I didn't even say the woman actually have to pay for anything. I just said that the gesture would be nice. And she's talking about princess treatment. And these same females will fix their lips and say, where are all the good men at? Why are you looking for us? You're not a good woman. Point. So me and my wife, first year anniversary, of being married wait i'm gonna allow him to finish but we gotta take it back so i guess he is responding to one of the comments that he received on one of his videos and um he's gonna break down what exactly that video was in a second but the commenter says something along the lines of it's giving princess it's giving, I want princess treatment. And I personally find that to be very disgusting of a lot of these women to try to pull these cards over on the men when all the men are asking for is appreciation, respect, reciprocation. Like that's all that they're asking for. They're, they're asking to be treated like human beings. They're, they're asking for common human decency and courtesy. And whenever a man demands that, it's like, oh, it's giving sassy. It's giving zesty. It's giving you want to be treated like a diva and all of this and all of that. And it's like, no, I just want to be valued. I just want to be seen. A lot of these men, they just want to be heard. They want to be seen. They want to know that they're actually appreciated. And we don't do that. Like I said earlier, we merely see these men as utilities. Pay a utility bill. Fix this. Do this. Roll over. Bend over backwards and do that. Complete that task for me. Fix that for me. Build me up. That's all that we do to these men. And so excuse them for coming through like, hey, human being here, can I get some respect? Can I get some appreciation? Can I at least feel like you value me? Can I at least feel like you care? And the truth of the reality is a lot of you women don't care. You don't care about these men. It's all about how they can help you out pull you out of debt. So if that makes them zesty and sassy and looking for princess treatment, so be it. But a lot of you all will be left to the streets, left to the cold. Why? Because winter is here and there's nobody to save you. But let's continue to listen to what he has to say. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe point so me and my wife first year anniversary of being married is october 28th and i told my wife i'll pay for the whole trip she said why can't we both pay for it i agreed that we both can pay for it but i'm just going to give her all the money it costs for the whole trip just like i did when we just went to puerto rico back in july and that was 2400 the gesture is nice just knowing that your woman and or wife would want to do it unlike brokey over here <laughs> and that is so valid ladies oftentimes these men they are going to handle it anyway it's just one of those things that makes you feel again seen and valued and heard when somebody would at least acknowledge what you're doing and say hey i'm here for you too I'm here to contribute and add on in a positive way as well. You do not have to do this alone. 
You know, oftentimes these men are just looking for the gesture and we don't even deliver that. And that is why y'all keep failing. That is why you all will continue to be broke, stuck and stagnant and begging. Because you don't even know how to make a man feel like he's valued, feel like he's worthy. You know, sometimes it's just being able to offer that man something in exchange, something in return, something to make him feel like it's not all on him because it's quiet as kept in a relationship. It should never just be on one party. We are a unit. We are a team. But realistically, you all, a lot of these men, they got it. They just want to know if they have the right woman on their team to have it for. And a lot of y'all keep failing that. You fail that test every time. And so this is why you all will continue to be crying in your cars, begging for handouts, begging for help, because you don't want to admit you were wrong. The men were right. The degrees didn't save you. You actually did need them. Y'all have no idea how many videos I've come across yesterday alone of women talking about, hey, I need a husband. Hey, I need a partner. Hey, I need a man. Make no doubt about it. All of this boils down to I need a man. And yes, I'm going to continue to say this because it rings true. This could have all been avoided. But y'all think y'all know best. You're stubborn. You're stuck in your ways. You're strong. You don't need nobody. And look at you now. It's looking like you need everybody. And honestly, I cannot even say that I feel sorry for y'all because y'all have chosen this path for yourselves. And now the men really don't want to touch you because you'll bring them down. To come into your life means his life is over. <laughs> so yeah, no thanks. Congratulations, ladies. Y'all keep playing yourselves. I hope y'all get it together before it's too late, but it's looking like it already is because again, winter is here. Anyway, Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this down in the comment section. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Um, and again, you all like the video, share the video and subscribe because these type of messages need to be out. Okay. We need to warn all of these women out here. Winter is here. Get a coat. Find shelter. Because you know what? It's going to get colder. Drizzle, drizzle. Anyway, I love y'all. I respect y'all. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. And remember, ladies, you're going to be broke begging bones forever if you don't clean it up. Peace.